Center for Disease Control passing their huge campaign of Heads Up Concussion um, is a huge thing that's been passed nationally for youth organizations, private sports organizations, school districts, um, parks and recreations, different groups who are using that. That is a basis of knowledge for education of coaches and people who are working with youth. I think educating parents is a huge thing of recognizing what could be a, um, a concussion, sign symptoms, and then the requirement of a health care provider having to sign off on a child as young as, you know, three-year-olds in youth sports all the way through high school, having to be signed off in order to continue with sports just has made more health care providers more aware of that and making sure that the kids are safe. They're way more uh, cautious if a trainer were to hear any athlete at any age say they hit their head, bang their head, something like that, they're immediately or should be immediately pulled out of the activity and given a full workup, the passing of impact testing with high school kids, college kids, so they have a baseline and having to be able to pass that test um, to be able to go back into um, a sports activity, whether the concussion had to do with uh, sports related or a car accident. In order for them to come back into the sports arena, they have to be able to pass that impact testing um, is a huge um, you know, improvement in that. I'm sure there's other ways that things will continue to get better. They'll see new things to provide for soccer with heading the ball. That's always a constant um, debate with kids. Um, helmets, new air, new pads, things in there. They're always working on the latest, greatest technology to protect our children. So. When they are older, they are able to function and be able to be active and not participate in any sports anymore. Okay.